torque element presets. When Elon Musk said the next big revolution wouldn't come from another luxury sedan or cyberpunk truck, but from something smaller, smarter, and shockingly affordable, the entire automotive world went silent. Because what he was describing wasn't just a car. It was a statement. A bold declaration that true innovation doesn't need to be expensive. That the future of electric vehicles doesn't belong only to the wealthy or the elite, but to everyone. This, my friends, is the Tesla Model 2, a car designed not just to drive the EV revolution forward but to democratize it entirely. It's not about luxury or speed this time. It's about precision, practicality, and purpose. And if Elon is right, this could be the car that changes the auto industry forever. Now you've probably seen the leaks, the compact hatchback body, the sleek lines, the strange new manufacturing language that Tesla calls unboxed. But the real story isn't just in how it looks. It's in how it's made, how it feels, and what it promises. The Tesla Model 2 isn't just another car on the road, it's Tesla's attempt to prove that affordable doesn't mean basic. That minimalism, technology, and performance can exist in harmony inside a $25,000 package. So let's unpack everything, from its aerodynamic design and futuristic butterfly doors, to the space-age assembly process that could change how every car is built from here on out. When you look at the leaked proportions, one thing becomes clear immediately, the Model 2 is compact. At about 13.8 feet long and 5.6 feet wide, it's roughly 10% shorter and 8% narrower than Tesla's current smallest car, the Model 3. But that's exactly what makes it so special. See, in cities like San Francisco, London, or Tokyo, where parking feels like a competitive sport, the Model 2's compact body is a blessing. With its slimmer frame, it fits into those frustratingly tight 6-foot wide parking spaces that most SUVs struggle with. It makes parallel parking 30% quicker and small street maneuvers far less stressful. But being smaller doesn't mean it feels cheaper. Tesla has engineered this car with the same attention to detail and performance as their flagship models. The design philosophy is about efficiency through intelligence. The shorter overhangs and tighter wheelbase give it incredible agility. The 13.8-foot length allows a smaller turning circle, perfect for urban life, while still maintaining stability at highway speeds. And yet, where the Model 2 truly stands apart is its aerodynamics. That's where Elon Musk's team pulled off something that even the skeptics didn't expect. Instead of chasing flamboyant design cues, Tesla focused on airflow. The sloping roofline, angled at a steep 35 degrees, minimizes turbulence and improves drag reduction. The rear overhang has been trimmed from 34 inches to 28 inches, reducing wind resistance dramatically. Then there's the front a redesign unlike anything seen on a Tesla before. A thin dual light structure, with a 0.8-inch LED strip above and compact 4-inch headlamps below, replaces the bulky 12-inch headlights of older models. This alone shrinks the frontal area by about 10%, and that translates to less drag. The final drag coefficient? A jaw-dropping 0.223 CD, better than the VW ID.3 and even the Ford Mustang Mach-E. That means less energy wasted fighting air, and more range squeezed out of every kilowatt hour. In fact, with just a 50 kilowatt hour battery, the Model 2 is expected to deliver between 340 and 360 miles of range, around 12 to 15 percent more than rivals in its class. And when you hit the accelerator, that aerodynamic efficiency pays off again. 0 to 60 in just 4.5 seconds. Faster than you'd expect from something that costs a third of a luxury EV. But here's the magic. It's not just quick. Smartly quick. Power is delivered in controlled, deliberate bursts, ensuring smooth traction without the jerky aggression of cheaper electric cars. Step inside and you realize Tesla's engineers have performed their signature trick, creating a space that feels far larger than its physical dimensions. The wheelbase has been stretched to 104 inches, the floor is nearly flat, and every inch of the cabin is optimized for visibility and openness. The upright seats and low cowl make you feel like you're in command of the road, not sitting deep inside a bubble of plastic. At the back, the hatch opens to reveal 18.5 cubic feet of cargo room, enough for daily life, and when you fold the seats, it opens up to about 41 cubic feet. Groceries, a stroller, maybe even a pair of full-size bikes, it's all possible. The frunk adds another 3.1 cubic feet, just enough for a laptop, charging cables, or that quick gym bag. Everything about the cabin feels Tesla clean, minimal, purposeful, but with a new level of warmth and comfort. Sound levels sit around 66 decibels at 45 miles per hour, conversation-friendly quiet. 
and on a hot day the advanced cooling system drops cabin temperature from 95 degrees Fahrenheit to 72 degrees Fahrenheit in just 5 minutes, without draining range like old systems used to. But now let's talk about one of the most controversial and fascinating parts of the Model 2, the butterfly doors. At first glance they look like a fashion statement, a design flourish borrowed from hypercars. But in reality they're a masterpiece of functionality. Traditional side doors swing outward, which might not sound like a big deal until you've tried opening one in a cramped parking spot. Butterfly doors, however, open upward, taking almost no lateral space. The hinge mechanism, mounted on the roof with double joints, allows a full 90 degrees lift. For anyone who's struggled with back pain, knee problems, or arthritis, this is a game changer. You don't have to twist, bend, or squeeze. You simply step in, one foot first, and sit naturally, keeping your spine straight. Tesla estimates that this motion reduces rotational strain on the lower back by 70%. The step-in height is just 6.7 inches from the ground, half that of the Model Y. That makes entry easy for seniors, kids, or anyone carrying groceries. For perspective, the average SUV sill height is over 16 inches, which means every time you climb in you're putting pressure on your knees and hips. Over years that strain adds up. The butterfly doors aren't just for comfort, they're for convenience and safety. They rise in just 1.2 to 1.6 seconds, fast but not abrupt, and they're packed with sensors that scan the surrounding space, parked under a low garage or under a tree. The car automatically adjusts how far the door opens to avoid hitting anything above or beside it. Even better, during rain, 90% of water is diverted away from the seat base as the door lifts, so you can step in without getting drenched. And when you close it, the soft closing motor finishes the last few millimeters automatically, preserving the seal and keeping wind noise low. It's everyday luxury built into an affordable form. And that's what makes the Model 2 so compelling. Now, under the skin, the real revolution is happening in how this car is built. For the first time, Tesla is using its new unboxed manufacturing process, officially approved just recently. Traditional car factories build vehicles in a linear line, body shell first, then parts added piece by piece. But Tesla's unboxed system breaks that tradition completely. Instead of one long line, there are multiple assembly cells working in parallel. Each module, front, rear, and mid structure, is built and tested individually with robotic precision. These modules then come together in a central assembly cell, where lasers and AI systems align every piece to an accuracy of 0.001 millimeters, about 1 100th the thickness of a human hair. The parts are held in place by vacuum clamps then bonded using Hyperbond, a structural adhesive derived from SpaceX spacecraft materials. This bonding process eliminates nearly 95% of bolts and welds. Instead of 5,000 weld points, the Model 2 uses just 450. That's fewer weak spots, fewer areas for rust, and better rigidity across the entire frame. In crash tests, this bonded frame disperses impact forces 98% more evenly than traditional frames dramatically improving passenger protection. Tesla engineers like to say the Model 2 structure acts like a single continuous shield, instead of a collection of metal parts. The strength of the bonding layer is immense, around 138 megapascals, the equivalent of a 5-ton elephant standing on a single postage stamp. What does that mean in the real world? Longevity. Even after 15 years and 3 million miles of simulated driving, the frame remains 95% structurally intact. No cracking, no warping, no rust. Most welded frames start showing corrosion or fatigue within five years. That's the kind of difference you feel not just in safety but in your wallet. Tesla estimates the Model 2 will save owners between $1,500 and $1,800 per year in maintenance. No regular frame checks, fewer alignment issues and less downtime. Over 15 years that's over $25,000 saved, effectively paying for the car itself. And when you decide to resell it, that durability pays off again. While most cars lose up to 60% of their value after 5 years, the Model 2's robust structure helps it retain up to 85%. That's an extra $4,000 to $6,000 in resale value compared to other EVs in its class. But there's also something emotional here, something deeper than numbers. When you touch the Model 2 when you drive it, you feel that every inch has been engineered to outsmart complexity. Every design choice, from the aerodynamics to the hinges, reflects one idea. Simplify everything but make nothing feel cheap. Even its software experience reinforces that philosophy. The infotainment system, 
powered by Tesla's next-gen chip, responds instantly, predicting your most used actions. It's like the car understands your rhythm. And with Tesla Vision, the camera-only driver assist, parking, navigating, and avoiding collisions feel fluid and confident. There's also the comfort of knowing that Tesla's charging network, the largest in the world, is ready for it. With a 340 to 360 mile range, most drivers will only need to plug in twice a week. And when you do, Tesla's next-gen V4 superchargers can add 200 miles in about 15 minutes. So, let's step back for a second. When you put all of this together, the compact agility, the futuristic doors, the fortress-like structure, and the breakthrough unbox manufacturing, what you have isn't just a new EV. You have the blueprint for how cars might be built for the next 50 years. Because the Model 2 doesn't just reduce cost. It reduces complexity. It rethinks how we use materials, how we assemble them, and how we interact with the machine every day. It's a car designed for cities, for families, for people who want Tesla's innovation without the premium price tag. And more importantly, it's a statement that sustainable technology can finally be accessible. So yes, it's compact. Yes, it's affordable. But it's also revolutionary. And when it hits production, likely at Tesla's Gigafactory in Mexico, it won't just compete with electric cars. It'll compete with every compact car still running on gas. Because if Tesla can deliver a $25,000 EV that looks this good, performs this well, and lasts this long, then the electric future isn't just coming. It's already here. And that's the beauty of the Model 2. It's not trying to impress you with extravagance. It's trying to free you from fuel costs, from mechanical headaches, from maintenance anxiety. It's Tesla distilled into its purest form, smart, efficient, and purpose-driven. So what do you think? Is this the car that finally makes EVs mainstream? Will the Model 2 become the global people's car Elon Musk has been teasing for years? Let me know your thoughts below, and don't forget to subscribe to Torque Element for more deep dives into the most fascinating innovations shaping the future of mobility.